Hi, I'm Mike from Kids Coding and today we have got Tana and Austin from the Ridiculous YouTube channel. They're going to help show you some practical fun you can have with coding and drones. So let's get into this. So as I said, today we're going to be looking at a drone. What drone do we have here today, Austin? A Tele drone. And how, can you tell me anything about this drone? This drone can fly for 13 minutes and 100 meters away. Wow, okay. And it's quite a small drone. Uh, how much do you reckon that weighs? I know you know this answer. Well, actually it weighs 80 grams. 80 grams, well, wow. so that's pretty light, light isn't it? So that, should, that helps, that's why it can fly for so long. 13 minutes is not bad for a drone this size. Really good. So what we're going to do today is we're going to unbox the drone. We're going to open Scratch. Scratch is what we use to do the, the kids coding. And there's a little bit of software that you need to install for this. We'll do a separate video for that all together. We'll put the links down to that below. It can be a bit tricky to set up. But once it's done, you're good to go. So we're going to take this, unbox it, and then fly it around. So I think what we'll first start to do is we'll just take off, we'll turn it around and we'll make it land all through coding. And then the second try, we'll take off, fly two meters that way, come back this way, turn around and land it and hopefully not chop heads off or fingers or get anything, <laughs> any blood splattered. So that's fine. So right, first things first, you're going to need to have Scratch installed. As I said, you'll see it on the screen now. Um, and an example of what I've just said is that we're going to take off we're going to fly down a little bit, we're going to turn around and then we're going to turn around the other way and land it. So we'll get into that. But in the meantime, now something to know about this drone is if you are flying it indoors and you've got laminate floors or floors that are all one colour, that's going to cause a problem because there's no sensors like GPS in here. So it can't hold its position with GPS. It's got two little, I'd say little, like little cameras underneath it and that takes an image of the floor, and as long as it's quite contrasty, so you've got to have the carpets or something down, it knows where it is, and it looks keeps monitoring the position, and if it moves that way, it knows it moved. So that's how this drone stays stable. So we've got a little carpet in here. That's clever. Let's give that a try. Do you want to feel it? That's even lighter than I thought. Yeah. Now this is actually really cool, because it does some really fun stuff. And we've got some clips from outdoors to show you guys. It can do a throw and go. You literally just throw the drone and off it goes. It flies and it hovers there. Uh, it also, what that, you remember those flips it was doing? How would you describe that flip? It can do a flip like that. Yeah. Um, and then the other way, a side flip like so side that. Side flips. And then the front flip. Front and the flip, back flip. Back flips. And the 8D flip, which is where it doesn't just do that or that. It literally goes like that on its corners and it goes all the way around like that which is pretty funky so we'll show you a little clip of those now before we get started As we were saying, you need a laptop, you can use a Windows laptop, Mac, you can even use an iPad with something called drone blocks. Um, we're going to be using the computer for today. Uh, it's just easier for us to use Scratch on it. So first things first is we're going to turn the Wi-Fi of the drone on. Uh, you do that by just holding a little button on the side. The lights will come on. 
Light on, light on, <laughs> and then that's it. Now we're actually going to be trying this from the table. So it's not the biggest takeoff pad, so we'll just be careful with that. Uh, now on the laptop we connect up to the Wi-Fi, connect up to the Tello. <coughs> dun, dun, dun. And as you can see on the screen, we're going to, when clicked, take off, wait five seconds, then it's going to come down a little bit. We're going to turn the drone half a turn one way, wait five, wait a little seven seconds, wait, turn it the other way, and land it again. Now, if we can get it to land on this box, I will be amazed, but let's see what happens. So, I should be connected to the drone, and let's see what happens. Oh, that was it, literally a click. Want to dry your hair? Yeah, okay. It's moved over ever so slightly, so it's waiting a few seconds now. And you should be able to follow the code on the right hand side here. It's now just waiting forever, isn't it? So it's, I think we've got something wrong with the code. That was cool. So we got something that went wrong with the code. So if we have a look at on what happened there, we clicked, it took off, it waited five seconds, and then it didn't do anything else after that. So what could have happened is that this five seconds wasn't long enough for it to take off, and then it started running through the rest of the commands. So if we just make it 10, if we make every, oh, no. Land, 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 land. So be careful where you click. <laughs> so we'll make it wait 10 seconds everywhere and that should give it a, enough time to do what it needs to do. We'll change that one now as well. So should we try that again and see if that works? Okay, you ready? So you click it. See, as it takes off, it moves a little bit, doesn't it? So it should be waiting 10 seconds. Oh, now it's coming down, as you can see, you'll see the next command gets received by the drone, or will it? Yep, there it is, turning. <laughs> it's a little bit close. You think I can gently guide it? It wants to stay there, doesn't it? <laughs> See, perfect landing on the box. I mean, look at that, a few millimeters out. But hey, that was right. So we, we've seen straight away how you can look at your code, you can diagnose what went wrong, what do we think happened there, fix it, run it again, and we've had the drone do exactly what we want. And that's the kind of stuff that we'll be looking at in kids coding. The chances of, the, of your code working first time, it might not, but you can step through it and learn how it interacts with um, the, the computer. And this, so we've seen there where we just click a button and it does what it needs to do. With Scratch, you can interact with your environment. So when a light comes on or when a loud noise happens, you can trigger something to happen. So why don't we do that where we clap and then the drone will do what we want it to do. Should we try that? Yeah. So in Scratch, you can have a look at the blocks and there's a when loudness is more than 10. We put that to, to like 20 or something. I don't know how high that is. Then we'll make it take off and... Oh! Ah, keep doing that. If you click too much... It, it does. So be careful what you do on the computer. It has an effect on the actual drone. So we will just make it... Set speed, wait three seconds, repeat twice, 10, 10, right. So now we have to be very quiet because I've linked all these actions to a command. Right, so the second I do this, if we get too loud, the drone's gonna take off and fly. Should we see how loud we have to get yeah, before it works? Yeah. Right, who wants to clap? Three. Should we all clap together? You guys clap together, go. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Louder. Louder. <laughs> That's obviously very loud. So let's lower it to 10. 10. Should we try again? 
And off it goes. So it's gone up. And you can always follow the code to see what's going on. It's waiting a few seconds. It's got new data coming through down. <laughs> right, now it's going to go forward two meters and hopefully not destroy the TV. Do we think it's going to crash? I think it's going to crash. You want to go and catch it on the box, Austin. You get it ready to catch it on the box. Wait, right, it's going to come back. Three, two, one. No, look at that. That's really good. Look at that. Is that going to land? Yeah. Wait, it's still going to do a turn. It's going to turn 180 degrees. Get the box ready. Yes. <laughs> and there we go. So that's a bit of fun that you can have. Now, if you were really brave, Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just land that. Right, now why did that happen? Spoke too loudly. Because we spoke too loudly and we were still linked up. So it was monitoring for us making noise and it carried on because it heard the noise. Right, so we've now disengaged that block and that's that. Right, so we've shown you a couple of demonstrations of, of what we can be doing with drones. There's lots of other things we've got. We've got BBC Micro Bits and Raspberry Pis, and that's not food. You'll have to come along to find what those are, or find out what those are. Um, but if you are considering some fun to do with, with coding, I can highly recommend the little Trello. Uh, great little toy. You can also connect it up to your phone. So, or you can even buy a controller and goggles. Uh, and that way you can actually see what, how the drone's flying, which is pretty cool. Um, it does all the stuff, to, oh, some of the stuff that the bigger DJI drones do. So it can do a circle around you and take photos. It can do a panoramic, it can do 360 degree photos. Um, and it does this cool bounce where it literally, it just goes up and down like that as it bounces. Um, the flyaway dronies. So for what's about a hundred pounds is a reasonably good little drone to have. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to wrap that up for this, for today. Thank you Austin and Tanner for helping out and they are going to be in the kids coding classes helping out so come if you along. Need help, we'll be there to help you with your coding. Yep, that's right. Yep. You excited about this? Yeah. Right, so check out the website, all the links will be below and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks guys.
Wimp. You wouldn't even wait for me. Daddy. Oh, you're not kidding. Random one. 